We create things to destroy things to make our better things. If quantum computer can help us destroy Bitcoin, so be it. Remember one thing about mankind. We have the tendency to be lazy, but we are not born to be lazy. Women Gaosing does it Jintian to the just see women down the cryptocurrency Bitcoin just see on Jintan. Your journey is impressive. You speak four languages, Haitian Creole, French, Chinese, and English. You hold a master's degree in electrical engineering. You spent 14 years in Taiwan and just recently relocated to the US. Correct me if I'm wrong. Everything you say is correct, yes. My first question will be related to your field of expertise, which is electrical engineering. How likely is it that supercomputers, if they were to be invented and mass produced, could potentially pose a threat to the security of cryptographic systems, including those used in blockchain technology. In simple words, can the Bitcoin chain be infiltrated with supercomputers? When it's come to security, when it's come to safety, we challenge ourselves from the beginning of time. We create things to destroy things, to make our better things. The encryption that's shielding Bitcoin could be compromised by a quantum computer with a staggering 1.9 billion qubits in just 10 minutes using Shor's algorithm. In just 10 minutes. I always tell people this is just the beginning for cryptocurrency. We will see better blockchains. If quantum computer can help us destroy Bitcoin, so be it, because we're going to create something better when we destroy, we destroy Bitcoin. So if you're worried about destroying something, then we're not going to build better things, right? Think about quantum computer this way. What is quantum physics? We need to study matter in every way. It says in the Bible that God created everything out of, okay, in the beginning, there was no time, no space, and then no energy, nothing, right? And then everything come up and then everything blow up just like the Big Bang Theory, everything blow up and it creates something. So with this all particles, we can make them together, we can work with them and see how they can react and then how they can change. So that's what you're going to have quantum physics and quantum mechanics and in those things when you study them you see how different electrons different photons act with each other and then we can create bigger things than that so now with regular computer is so slow compared to a quantum computer why not living the slow space and then getting something faster of course we'll want that the, um, the thing that let us go faster because we, we save time we save energy we save money we save everything i think quantum computer will help us with the speed it goes will help us to solve problems instead of create a threat for bitcoin because we won't be worried too much about bitcoin but how 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 much time we will save if we can use quantum computer to do so many other things that we're doing today like computation we would do now in maybe we wouldn't be able to solve problems we wouldn't be able to solve in 10 years now a quantum computer can solve it in minutes or seconds so that's gonna help us to go fast and then on uh, bitcoin i think i'm not worried about bitcoin i'm not worried about quantum computer can can help us do something maybe to destroy bitcoin but i think a quantum computer can make bitcoin go faster because now bitcoin is still slow the blockchain is still slow so we think about improvement when it comes to technology and and not destruction because we can't stop the blockchain we can just make it better with ai or other technology let's talk about the intersection of ai cryptocurrency and electrical engineering not a lot of people realize that AI and cryptocurrency trading is a huge subject and many fintech firms are already actively working and utilizing such tools. AI algorithms analyze market trends, predict price movements, and execute cryptocurrency trades. And electrical engineers like yourself contribute to the development of high-frequency trading systems and uh, the hardware infrastructure needed for efficient execution. What do you think about the future of cryptocurrency trading? If everything gets automated, will retail traders be eliminated? Will there be a new type of trading where people are not actively participating in placing orders? How will the field of cryptocurrency trading change, in your opinion, over the next few years with AI advancements? Remember one thing about mankind. We have the tendency to be lazy but we are not born to be lazy. We don't like to stay uh, sitting down and people doing everything for us. We want to do things. You see, when we have, when you are in a, in a situation, you cannot do anything, you, you cannot use yourself. You feel like I'm useless. I have, I have to create something better. So trading, some people would never let the boat trade for them. So we would still have traders that want to place their own order and then do everything by themselves. So we will have that. But what AI will help us to do 
is to predict for us. This is what's going to happen. And then uh, some people will never like automated si systems. Like you see when you call now from different companies, you see that uh, the person that talked to you is not a real person. You already know it's not a real person. You can identify the voice and everything. Some people will never like that, will never get used to it. And then this is the importance of mankind. We are created to interact with each other. Let's talk about mining. A while ago, Elon Musk tweeted something about selling Tesla, suspending accepting the cryptocurrency as payment for its vehicles, citing the use of fossil fuels, including coal and Bitcoin mining. I feel like Musk was dissembling. He obviously understands that Tesla also contributes to the use of fossil fuels, including coals and charging Tesla cars. But in any case, this problem related to excessive consumption of electricity can be eradicated with the help of new tech. For example, AI algorithms can be employed to optimize the process of cryptocurrency mining. Electrical engineers like yourself may work on designing energy efficient mining hardware and systems, improving the overall sustainability of blockchain networks. What is your take? What do you think about the evolution of cryptocurrency mining? I always tell people, if you have a problem with Bitcoin, then we'll have a problem with Apple that is making cell phones every year. You won't have a problem with Toyota as well that is working every single day basically non-stop. We don't need so many cars in the world. Don't you just love that new car smell? It smells like power and freedom. Let's see if you still like that smell when you find out what it's really costing you. People would, would argue with me, but we could make we could be making cars every five years and then we stop it and make it make them again and then stop it and make them again. Well a car will last will last 30 years if you if you take care of it. So but we still make it every single day non-stop. And then we complain for Bitcoin. Mining is a sector that's gonna have a lot of people that are gonna get into it because some people don't want to be just an observer. They want to participate. And then this is the easy way to participate because you just buy a machine and then you observe the machine and then you learn how it works and then you start making money. You start helping people to make more money in the blockchain. You spent about 14 years in Taiwan. I'm just curious, is Taiwan more progressive when it comes to crypto adoption compared to the US? The way it is in America, it seems that a group of people know about it and they're interested about it, but the majority of people, the street, um, the, the, the common people don't even know about it, what's going on. When you ask them questions, they don't know what it is. But one thing I noticed in Taiwan, you can buy a Bitcoin, you can buy Ethereum at a 7-Eleven, at every single 7-Eleven. And when I tell you at a 7-Eleven, 7-Eleven and Family Mart, they are everywhere in Taiwan. Not like in America, you see a 7-Eleven here and then maybe you drive 10 miles before you see another 7-Eleven. In Taiwan, within a mile, you can find three to four 7-Eleven. And then all these convenience stores, you can buy cryptocurrency. So uh, Taiwanese don't like to talk about money so much, but they are very free when it's come to that. So the government doesn't touch that so much. And then people are free to buy on Binance. You are free to buy crypto.com. People are free to buy on every um, single exchanges that they, they want to. So far, the regulation is very, uh, is very uh, peaceful. Nothing to worry about if you are in Taiwan doing crypto. And it's very easy. <laughs> One last thing, I would ask you to talk about things that you wanted to discuss. Maybe there is something that you did not mention, but wanted to mention. Also, can you please talk a little bit about your channels, courses? Definitely. I have to thank you again for this invitation to talk about cryptocurrency. This is a subject that I am passionate about. I started my journey in 2021 where I created Clever coaching and services. I have a whole club where I train people. We meet at least twice a week. We discuss about crypto and then we discuss about investment. What I want to do in my club is to change the people's perspective of money, the way they see money. Money is basically the people and the things around us. That's what money is. So if you don't have the people, you don't have uh, anything around you, then you can make money. You can make money out of nothing. I want more Haitians. If you're watching this video, you are in the US and Canada, Mexico, all uh, friends, uh, Taiwan, China, wherever you are. I want you in my club because the club is in Haitian Creole. So we can all learn together. But if somebody speaks English, they want uh, me to, uh, to coach them, they can book me on my website as well, clevercoaching.com, so I can coach you in English. And then my, my YouTube channel, uh, Clever uh, Clever 2 be talking about cryptocurrencies that can give you 10x. And then every top 10 in crypto, every top 10 in blockchain, every top 10 in that aspect of AI, in that technology. That's what you need to expect to see on my channel. All right, before you go, can I just ask you one little thing? Can you please say thank you for watching Shark Numbers in Haitian Creole, French, and Chinese? Thank you so much.
Merci de ce côté pour le temps pour te garder la euh, chaîne ça aujourd'hui là. Vous souhaitez que vous abonnez et puis vous toujours continuer à garder la vidéo. Nous t'en ça. Ok? Et Ivan, c'est un bon euh, un bon et bien, qui a euh, fait podcast ça. Il t'a remis plus de monde. Gardez la chaîne et puis plus de monde partager la vidéo. Ok, merci. Euh, merci d'avoir regardé eh bien, ce clip aujourd'hui et j'aimerais bien que vous euh, abonniez sur, sur ce channel parce que quand même c'est c'est un Yvan euh, Yvan il fait quelque chose d'intéressant nous voulons voir et nous voulons vous voir retourner sur euh, sur cette chaîne sur cette chaîne mais pour regarder la vidéo comme ça ok merci Women Gaussing de ces Jintian Nigrida Women de Pindao Wan Siwang Nikoi Kola Nikoi Dinue de Telo Pindao Taho Thank you so much.